Hello everyone, Reverend Sarah Grady from St. Paul's United Church in Paris. I hope that you're doing great today. We have so much going on in the month of December and even here in November, we're not quite finished with November yet, that today I just really want to walk you through some of the stuff that's going to be happening around uh, our church building over the next little while. We are so grateful that we're able to gather again for in-person worship. If you weren't aware, we are gathering as safely as possible for in-person worship on Sunday mornings. For those who haven't joined us again or uh, would like to join us for the first time, just so you're aware, our procedure for Sunday morning, we are coming through one door. Uh, we're not checking vaccine passports. It's highly encouraged that you are fully vaccinated to attend worship, but it is not a requirement. You will, however, be required to sanitize, physically distance, Distance and keep a mask on while inside the church building at all times. So that's what's happening for our Sunday worship. This coming Sunday, as we celebrate the first Sunday of Advent, our tradition at St. Paul's United Church has been to do communion. And so as we have been doing throughout the pandemic, when we have communion, it will be a, a bring your own elements communion service. And we will have some safely prepackaged elements on hand in case folks haven't heard about it beforehand or, um, or forgot on Sunday morning. That's easy enough to do. So if you uh, hear this message in time and you do remember, please remember to bring your own elements for our communion service on Sunday. And that's the first announcement. There's two other things happening this weekend. On Saturday is our turkey takeout dinner um, fundraiser, and we are so grateful to the team who's putting all of that together. The tickets are selling out rapidly, so if you haven't had a chance to get those, please make sure you connect with Karen in the office to, uh, to get your tickets for that. Then on Sunday evening is the return of something that we have been really hoping to get back to. Before the pandemic, we had a regular community meal that we had. It's a free community meal for folks who um, need that space together and perhaps need a warm meal uh, during the week. So that is something that we had provided weekly and we are gonna change up our format a little bit. We are gonna be moving to Sunday evenings and we're gonna start it with just once a month. And our first one is this coming Sunday uh, November the 28th in the evening. Doors are going to be opening at 5.45. The meal will be served at 6. This, because we are doing a sit-down meal, will require you to have a vaccine passport and your identification if you would like to sit for the meal. If you don't have these, that's okay. We will be offering a takeaway meal for those who aren't able to sit down and share in that meal with us. So if you are planning on attending, we would hope that you could please let Karen in the office know we need to get a, an idea of the numbers of people that will be attending so that we make sure we have enough food. All right, that's all the things happening this week. Now, next week, <laughs> we are once again going to be participating in the Christmas drive through display over at the Paris Fairgrounds. That's in place of the Santa Claus parade that they would normally have on the main street down uh, town Paris here. So we are taking part in that and we are hopeful this year that you can come and help us decorate our float. We do need you to let us know if you're gonna be taking part in that. We're hoping for some, uh, for some kids, some young families to come and help us with that. So this kind Coming, uh, or sorry, next Wednesday, December the 1st, uh, the 2nd, and the 3rd. So th Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, after school from about 3.30 till about 5.30, you are invited to let us know if you're coming and come and help us decorate our, our uh, Christmas display for that drive through that's going to be happening on Saturday, December the 4th. I think that's all the dates that I need to let you know about for now. There will be another date I'm going to announce um, this coming Sunday or um, in our in our announcements for next week. And that is we are going to be holding another longest night or blue Christmas uh, candlelight vigil. So last year what we did was we held it out outside on the front steps of the church. That felt like the safest way for people to gather um, at that time, but it was also really meaningful and uh, and beautiful. So we are going to try that again this year. We're going to be outside on the front uh, steps of the church, and we are looking at a Thursday evening mid-November or mid-December for that. So keep your... Um, eyes peeled for that. We'll let you know the date of that as soon as possible. We know that the Christmas and Advent seasons are not joyful for everybody. There's things that people are struggling with. The pandemic has put a particular strain on lots of different things for people in the community. Um, lots of people have lost someone that they love. There has been lament 
around people's physical health, strained relationships, broken relationships, the loss of job or financial security. There's lots of reasons for people to need that space for our, our blue Christmas or longest night service. So we are going to hold that for you and we'll let you know that date as soon as possible. I think that's finally everything. As you can see, we have a lot going on. And if you have any questions or concerns about anything, don't hesitate to be in touch with myself or Karen in the office. And wherever you are, I hope that you're safe. I hope you're well. If you have a car, I hope you have your snow tires on. And if you're walking around, maybe get some of those spiky things. The roads are getting slick. And of course, I hope I get to see you very soon. We'll talk to you later, everyone.